to my tutorial. I am the Count of Makeup. Pacific Standard Time, the City Council voted unanimously to ignore the presidential order. At this time, parking lots are being cleared to provide temporary sanctuary for our foreign citizens. Mark my words, your tents will be undisturbed. We will protect you. A task force has been established to locate safe housing for you. You have my personal promise that debts will be paid housing restored, and jobs filled. Dignity will be returned to our communities. Background checks will be required. Now I'll field your questions. Wow. This shit has really hit the fan. It's crazy. God, I love this city. The mayor, he's all not on my watch, asshole. I think we're like one of the only cities standing up to these clowns. Yeesh. But background checks? What the hell is that all about? I don't know, whatever. Vintage buildings getting torn down for rich ass condos. Keep talking about immigrants. We're gonna be homeless soon. How's the new video coming? Oh, not good. I can't seem to get anything done. I managed to film the tutorials, but... Lots of people wanna learn how to do horror makeup. Monetize them. You can make like a thousand bucks for every million views or something. Mm, that's not how it works anymore. Nothing is gonna happen until I finish these edits. And I'm too damn tired to even start. Oh, tonight. Stanley's filming a new horror movie. 
I owe him a favor. He asked me to do wounds. And here's the kicker. You'll love this. The producer wants us to start at 1 a.m. He thinks it's going to get everybody in the mood. I'll just be dancing up alone at Pony again. You get to go cut someone's throat on a movie set. <laughs> What's he paying you anyway? Mm -hmm. Doesn't he still owe you from last year? I thought you told me you only work theater gigs now. You know Stanley, the narcissist. Is it worth it dealing with that jerk? Why don't you start taking Microsoft jobs? You might get on better films that way. There's a lot of freedom and creativity in the way I work. And it makes me happy, thank you very much. I don't want them to suck the soul out of my body. Once you sign with them, they own you forever. And they always want more. It's never enough. Invasion of the body snatchers. <laughs> it might be better than being owed for a fucking year. Yeah, creativity. Look, I don't want to worry. Text me the moment you get there. Don't let him con you out of the cash. I don't want to hear any bullshit. All right, don't worry. Actually, maybe you should. Shut up. How's your mom? <sighs> Not well. Her mind just keeps slipping. I never thought I'd have to deal with the early stages of dementia, but here it is. I don't think I can handle it. Again, Ma, you texted me six times. Sit down. I made fish stew with kidney beans and iceberg lettuce. And when you finish, if you finish, there's custard pie. David, we have a problem. Your sister needs a doctor. Pastor Hopkins says she's too angry. Your father, that drunk son of a bitch, always yelling. And then he had to accidentally beat your mother. Ma, you gotta stop thinking about that. These negative thoughts are gonna cause too much tension. You're gonna end up having a stroke. Prison surge him right. And I can actually thank Dad now for the one good thing he ever did. Forcing me to take that paper out, it saved my life. I wish I would have smashed his whiskey. I don't know how he made it as long as he did. I would have been dead by noon. Always a pint for breakfast. Oh, but you, my little newsboy, always up on the story. I was very proud of you. Have you found steady work with a good pension? That's not how things work anymore, Ma. Who do you know has a pension? And besides, I'm happy doing the bartending thing and my makeup gigs. Chris listens to me. Once we give her some help, she's going to apply for graduate school. I warned you not to send Chris to that Bible camp in Arkansas. She's going to end up the next Manchurian candidate. And is she still drinking? Now, where did I send Chris? Now, eat your fish.
Oh, but you have to plan for the future. I'm not sure how much longer I can do this. No one told me I'd be sitting here for an hour. How many films have you done? A few. Student projects. How about you? I work mostly in theater, but this is my 16th film. Wow, I'm jealous. Hey, why can't I have my phone? I need you to keep your head still while the wound sets. You can't be moving around. This isn't fair. This isn't fair? I spent the last year working on makeup tutorials. I can't get over a hundred hits. You've got over 10 million views on your video. What's your secret? I'm a star. Treat me like one. I want my phone. And... Vampire girl never reveals her secrets. Evolution. Revolution. Stupid. Hey, stop moving. You're fucking up my hairspray. Jesus, what the fuck? You'll burn the place to bloody hell. <laughs> hey, nice job, man. I'm not even drunk. That shit looks real. Seriously, sweetheart, you've got to obey the rules of the set. Aw, I made a mess. Puppy sad. Seriously, man, that is great makeup. Well, you do pay me the big bucks. You're, You're getting, getting paid? paid? Hey, turn around. You gotta keep it still. Uh. What the fuck, Stanley? Now you're lying to me? Sweetheart, baby, calm down. We are realizing your dreams big time. All we have to do is get through this and we're on our way to Cannes. Imagine, Europe in the summer, the rolling hills of southern France, the beaches of the Mediterranean, we are emotional beings, but we're also spiritual, right? Always keep that in perspective. I love your work. You know I've told you that. In the end, we have to persevere. How long have you been crashing at my place? Hey, pass that around. Uh, no. Johnny Strokes. <laughs> he was that famous pimp drug dealer from Chicago in the 80s. I heard he got buried in a freaking Cadillac. Imagine that. Fucking remarkable. Buried in a Cadillac.
been in there a long time. Think he's hungry? Man, shut the fuck up. You forgot who paid your salary, Mr. Mayor. First rule, cross the right people. Now I've got to tidy things up. Can't have you going around making concessions to the media. Bad for the GDP. <laughs> GDP. Do you mind? I am trying to kill you here. Don't be so selfish. We're just doing our jobs.
Listen, you, you gotta help me. I need to use your phone. Sister, that's what they all say. We're hearing all about it. Ah. Quick, I think his arms is located. This thing will work well for that video in my physiology class. What do you think causes a person to act this way? Our bodies produce a random amount of androsterone pheromone admitted through our sweat glands. It's trauma, sister. We're animals. Give me your phone. Hey, you freaks gotta go. I can't afford to pay no cops. <laughs> can't you see you might have scared him? He might have a heart condition. Fellas? Oh my. I'm hurt. I need you to listen very carefully. I witnessed a murder. What? Where are you? This is not a joke. It was the fucking mayor. I'm okay. I think my arm's broken. I'm at a bar. I had to borrow a clown's phone. They stole my phone. A clown? No, 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 no. The, the killers. Two hitmen. They're, they're the ones that killed the mayor. I can't take these fantasy role-playing games anymore. I'm telling you the truth. This is reality. I'm coming to get you. I rang your phone and heard heavy breathing. I begged you to stop. Get out of the house. Make sure that you are not followed. God, no, please stop. Oh my God, no, no! Thomas?
Our only hope is that he is apprehended. Either way, the path of destruction is clear. The brutal murder of Thomas Kane and God only knows how many others. They have been stating for years that marijuana use leads to violence. Society should have listened before they voted legalization in. Events like this lead us all to support government proposed mandatory chip implant programs. Back to you, Paul. Somebody stabbed Thomas. She died in my arms. I need you to come now. It's the same place where Stanley used to film his movies. I'm in room 126. Just park out front, I'll walk outside. Oh my God, there's a reward. How could he have done this? I'm not happy about this situation. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe he's on drugs. Hold on a minute, my hair is blowing everywhere. Thank you, Paul. This is the last known location of David Hayes, now the alleged fugitive. Police describe David as a slender 5'9 white male with dark curly hair in his mid-30s. Professionally, David was a very talented makeup artist and he may be traveling in disguise. His social network accounts reveal that he's a loner who often stayed at home while his gregarious partner went dancing. Perhaps he was jealous. Perhaps it was envy. We shall never know. Our only hope is... Congratulations, Sister Beverly. You are the grand prize winner of last Sunday's church raffle. But I don't remember a raffle. Do you have the right address? Your lovely daughter Chris entered your name into the contest. And when Pastor Hopkins found out you were the winner, he personally sent us over to deliver your surprise. He's on his way here now to help celebrate. Oh, my stars. He's a good man. I didn't ruin this family, you did. You ruined everything. Chris, please. Chris, I sincerely meant all the good things. I'm an innocent man. It's not what it seems. They killed Thomas. No, you never even really helped Ma. 
It's always about you and your selfish art projects. God knows what you do in your personal life, but Ma's eating peanut butter sandwiches and you're a fucking narcissistic drag queen. Uh, that's enough. Don't tell me what to do. I mean, just look at you, you freak. Jesus can help you now. You killed them, David. It's all over the news, so it doesn't matter what you say. The news says you're guilty, so you are. This is what drugs and whoring have done to you. Okay, yeah. I'm on drugs. Don't drink and drive. Yeah, well, just get out. Get out of the car. Of the car. Just go. Yeah. yeah. Sugar. Black is perfectly fine, Edward. Thank you. You're most welcome, Jonathan. I really need to catch up on my reading. Listen to this. Studies have shown ingesting raw ginger or turmeric on a daily basis is helpful in the prevention of dementia. This naturopathic approach boosts the body's immune system while avoiding the negative side effects associated with pharmaceutical drugs. Well, would you look at that? It's David. It's for you, Ma. My angel. You remember the flowers. Stanley. I'm being framed. Dude, you're all over the news. And you're in my movie. I think it's the government. 
I just saw two. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. This is the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. I always knew you were something special. I had a premonition that the shit was gonna hit the fan. I'm at the motel, the one that you used to hide out in. Drive up carefully. There are two men in a Cadillac. They're into the left side of the parking lot. Park on the opposite side and call this number. If I'm not out in 60 seconds, I need you to go to the office and ask them about rates or whatever. I'll meet you there. I'll fill you in later, Stanley. There's somebody at the door. freaks at the door. It might be them. If I'm not here when you arrive, it was no accident. Cool, dude. I'm coming. Who is it? Excuse us, ma'am. We are with an organization called Cannabis Culture for Christ. We would like to have the pleasure of a few minutes of your time to speak to you about our annual fundraiser event going on down at the community college. Nast at a good time. Please go away. Okay, ma'am. We understand. This will only take a moment. We'd hate to return to campus without even taking one survey. No one will speak with us. Can you please? Well now, that's very kind of you. By the looks of things, I can see that you may be in need of our services. Who am I having the fine pleasure of addressing today? Kate! Pleased to meet you, Kate. My name is Skinny, and this is Candy. They are in training, as this is their first day on the job. You see, Kate, we're all in this together. We may have a few gifts that come in handy in times like this. No, I'm sick today. Now, Kate, before Candy and I wandered this earth martyred and broken, we discovered that people really have advanced civilization. Ain't that the truth, Candy? Uh, we're asking for donations for CCC to complete a classroom remodel by educating runaway kids. We're gonna, we're giving them a second chance by teaching them an accredited medical marijuana course. Once these kids are trained and take a CPR classes, they can file with the state and receive an official license to work in a legal pot store. They won't have to steal food, steal cars anymore to get food. Because, Kate, every day is a good day when you work in mental health. Get in the car. Not you, him. I got some kind nuggets. Don't buy it. I'm the director. I'll tell you what to do. How about a lift into town? Don't worry, we won't rob you. We're with Cannabis Culture for Christ. Fuck off. Thanks a lot, friend. Hey! My new khakis are dirty. I need to stop and get smokes. No, no way. They might be following us. Dude, are you kidding? How long have we known each other? Five years? We both think 
a logical thought process. Spiritual, but I'm more logical. This is mind control. I believe you're an innocent man. You have so much to do in this life. I've always thought of you as an elder. Thank you. Stanley, you are truly loyal. I, I appreciate everything, and I really like the gigs. This all happened so fast. Two hitmen rolled in in a Cadillac. They pulled the mayor out of the trunk, and they killed him. He's dead, Stanley. They abducted me, but I got away. I, they took my wallet. They took my phone. Take it easy. Who are they? I don't know. I don't know the government. Organized criminals? They're probably tracking me online. God damn it. I'm too angry and political on Facebook. You know, relax, man. Everyone is angry and political. Why you? I'm a witness. And I saw Jenny on the news the other day. She's a news reporter. You never told me she got that gig. You're certifiable. It's all I can do just to get her ass off the couch. All she does is fucking drink my beer and complain. Yeah, she's not a news reporter. A fucking gossip, for sure. This is one fucking crazy conspiracy theory you've put together. You know, I can't be too mad about this. You've actually gotten me some really good publicity. Are you kidding me? I thought it would be all over the news by now. Sabotage. The fucking media, man. I can see all of this coming into frame, right? You're the stooge, the patsy. This requires research, a subterfuge. You gotta beat them at their own game. Hide out in my warehouse. Fucking sanctuary city, my ass. The mayor gave a big speech, completely defying the president. I need to use your computer. I've been watching this TV show called Ancient Aliens. And it's like they have these machines. They operate with sound waves, but like on the same frequency as the human brain. They can erase your mind. They even control the weather, and they got all this shit from crashed UFOs. Shit, it's them. We were fallen. Jenny's waiting for me upstairs. I'm gonna go grab a beer. You want one? No, no, I'll take a coffee. Listen, man, be careful. You gotta at least confront her. I really like the wig. It uh, reminds me of one of my ex-girlfriends. She got drunk, fell off a bridge. I need some personal space. Can't you tell by now I'm a codependent? He can't stay here. I paid the rent last month. You knew I had plans to film cross dress bingo. You promised to help me. I warned you that it could last all weekend. You never <coughs> listen, you narcissist asshole. I've got your back. You've got a place on my film set. What? It must be hard to direct when you're deaf. He claims you're now a news reporter on TV about to bring me down. That's my identical twin sister, Shelly. What? You never told me you had a sister. You never asked. I'm the artist, and Shell made it in corporate broadcasting. She actually has amazing connections. I may be the one to help you out. That is, if you start paying attention. Listen, sweetheart. You need to start being straight up. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm flying to Cali next week. Shell hooked me up with a movie producer guy. Perhaps I can make a call and see if they need a PA. Now do what 
I say and get him the fuck out. Mary Sinclair being investigated for campaign fraud. Linked to condo builders Jonathan and Edward Sanders. Private donors and heirs to the Sanders building fortune fund luxury sanctuary city condos for wealthy immigrants. In 1827, Frederick Sanders, their great-great-grandfather, was accused of murdering 10 women. All were found with the blood drained from their bodies. Frederick Sanders stood trial, but mysteriously ended up dead in his jail cell. Jack, I am sick and tired of your shit. Over and over again, the, the account rep told you, three weeks, you get three weeks. Now, how many times do we have to tell you? Now the paper's pushing forward. It wasn't my decision, but we gotta do it. We're pushing forward with the full weight of the law behind us. You'll never get coverage from this paper again. You signed a contract, now it's off to collections. That's not my department. I'm aware of how long we've known each other. Professor Barley, this is David Hayes from college. Uh, David Hayes? You, you gotta be joking, come on. What kind of monster would play a fantasy like this on me? Come on. No, 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 it, it's me, I can assure you. Holy Russian spy up. No matter what they say, you'll always be little Davy. Nobody rowing the boat at 5 a.m. We can't talk on the phone. I need you to help me. You owe me. I always kept quiet with Linda. I told nobody about our boathouse excursions. I need you to help me prove my innocence. Well, um, just what do you think I can do for you? I mean... You've got every cop in the country after you, and, and, and this reward, this big fat reward, come on. Please, please, I have a plan. You know that I'm trustworthy. Now I need your trust. Meet me at the waterfront, and I'll tell you everything. Listen, listen, Daddy Bear. We are taking a boat this time. Okay, Davy, but it's it's Pooh Bear. It's Pooh Bear these days. And and just so you know, um, your daddy bear doesn't swing that way anymore. It's nothing like that. You gotta help me. Uh, I I I still don't know what I can do for you. I mean, <sighs> Davy, let's face it, you're in deep shit. And I don't want these guys after me. I understand. Hmm. Okay, Davy. Okay. But this time has to be clean and safe. I'll see you at eight. Be discreet. Take the bus. All right, I'll see you soon. You gotta get the fuck out. Stanley, are you serious? You think too much. We don't need the freak show coming down. It's you. I saw you on television. You're one of them. You obviously mean my identical twin sister. Twin, twin sister? Are you gonna believe that? It's getting a little too nervous, isn't he, sweetheart? Time's up. You gotta go now. This is an obvious trap. I've had enough of your thought process. I think we should split town before we get busted. I'm actually really proud of you, Stanley.
Hey. Oh, Dave. Sweetheart. Were you followed? Oh, Dave. Were you followed? What's this all about? Your face. Davey brought you your favorite, a triple soy latte. And the barista even sculpted a little poo bear on there for you. Wait, 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 wait. Davey, don't hurt yourself. Uh, shut up. David, what? We gotta get out of here. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Come on, let's go. I know who they are. Well, it doesn't matter who they are. They're trying to kill you. And the media, the media is all over you. They got your description down to a T. They even know your backstory. I think now's the time, Davy. Escape. Escape to Mexico before they finish building the wall. Spencer, you know everybody. Can you call your contacts down at the Times? I, I can prove this. I found an article. The mayor is standing with two donors. These guys helped build sanctuary condos. Jonathan and Edward Sanders. The one wearing, uh, he's got a champagne bottle. He's got a ring. It's the same exact strange ring that the thug had when he held me down. Hey. It turns out these guys are the heirs to the, the big corporate vampire, Frederick Sanders. Okay. Here, I'll show you. Look at this. Davey, these animals could be anybody. They could be contractors, loan sharks, real estate agents. No, no, no. no. I, I didn't have a chance to, to enlarge the photo, but can you recognize them? Look closer. Oh, these clowns. They're at every press conference for the illegal immigrants. Everyone, the referendum meetings, everything. They're always there. I think they're real estate agents trying to slime a big fat deal. Well, I know where they dumped the body, and I can take you there. Okay. Okay. I haven't been on a boat since the last time that we were out there. I capsized it, but you saved me. Let's go. 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 Come on. Come on.
Yes, ma'am. Oh, we did the laundry. Thank you. It was our pleasure. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I get to document history. Huh. My grandma be so proud. You know, she always used to say, go get the story, and I'll leave the light on in the kitchen. <laughs> Over there. Let's go. facing due north. Murder, corruption, brainwashing. It's a romantic comedy, man. It's a, it's a fantasy. Your visions. Kids on their cell phones. Programmers, software. Poof, there goes your imagination. Come on, let's get out of here. Think sideways. Start from the end of the beginning. I am the most feared and original mind in modern physics. Am I not the one who works with ghosts? You think you're bored now. Wait until you are dead. Contact the FBI. Uh-huh. Spencer, tell them you're my friend. OK. And I'm willing to negotiate. OK, just, just hold on a minute, cowboy. We'll get this. This is just too fast, too easy. It took me a long time. I need time to go to back to my office, think things over for a little bit. Look, it'll be all right. It'll be all right, Davy. You have to tame the mind. The rats don't care. They never did. Either these goons are trying to cover their asses, or the media is pumping out another fake story. That's all that's going on here. One or the other, we'll figure it out. It's a fool. So Lord, go on back to the motel, take a room, kick your feet up, pass out. I'll make contact in the morning. It all, your, your desires all. I'm so glad we can here. have these intimate moments together still. Just like the old days. Brainwashing. Oh, Davy. You'll always have a warm spot right here. Always. Hold on. It's a... a... Oh, okay. It's a farce. Oh, Think sideways. You can't escape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Spencer Barely. No, no, Spencer Barely. Yes, yes, I'm that, I'm that guy. Yeah, well, remember when we talked, you told me to give you a call any time that I had a great story. It's a really big one. It's a big fish and it's starting to smell. I'm starving, man. Our prayers have been answered. Follow my lead. Good evening. Oh, hello. Excuse me, we need some help. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My name is Skinny, and this is Candy. It's their <laughs> third day on the job. We'll now just be on our way down to the community college for the seminar. Before we joined the CCC, we wandered the earth and learned a few tricks from the history books. You, my friends, remind me very much of the Roman soldiers about to service the Republic. They would systematically enter disobedient towns and kill every man, woman, and child. And they would hang enemy generals publicly. 
and Hadrian can continue to build his wall. Whoa, 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 whoa. We offer you our sworn services. Carry on, Brigadier. Okay, I'll get right down to it. You know that David guy, the fugitive? I know where he is. Continue. Well, I've known him since college. I was his professor in English comp. He's a solid kid. Anyway, he came to me and he says he's been set up. That he witnessed the murder of the mayor. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I'm serious. You know those, those Sanders brothers? They're those goons at every Sanctuary Condo press conference. They're always there. He claims he saw them shoot the mayor. Oh, you mean the contractors? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard they found his jaw floating with some teeth. No. Absolutely not. Come on, this is, this is a story of a lifetime here. It's absolutely a story. Your story. Show me the evidence. David came to me with an article from back in the 1800s. And it's about these two brothers, great grandfather. This guy named Frederick Sanders. You can look this up. He was accused of killing 10 women, taking their bodies and draining all the blood out of them. It's, ugh. Anyway, today, these two brothers are out there with their fingers and everything, all because of the money that this wacko from way back brought to them. I don't buy this mafia monster bullshit. Let me think about it. The story might work even better if it comes from me. Okay, we'll tell it together. We need solid proof before we can push a story this crazy. You bring him in, I'll get him on camera. Tell him that he won't last long and that we can help. Okay, but you'll honor my story. I mean, I got David. I've got him. He's absolutely solid. And what about my reward? When we first met, you promised me access to the executive group. And I have been loyal all this time. How much longer do I have to wait? You came to me. I'm the newscaster. He goes on my camera. I'm not going to air right away. We need time to flush out the details. You bring him to Riverfront Park, say, 11 p.m. I'll have my crew waiting. Let's get the story together before we go to them. I'll give you access to my sources. We can share the credit. Okay. To success. To success. Don't you know how to kiss a lady?
If you see David, contact local authorities. Do not approach him. He is armed and dangerous. <laughs> With your help, we will apprehend him. <laughs> Sorry, I never believed you. I made coffee. That's so sweet. say about the kid he's just still nervous after all these years it's pretty clear he just never learned how to trust you're helping him for his own good I'm so proud of you mm. you've really come into your own everyone is so pleased oh, wow. I've been thinking Let's not frighten him. It would be best to meet with him, gain his trust, and then grab the interview. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You're so smart. <laughs> this is why I've wanted in for so long. Hmm. <laughs> Right, kid? Yeah, my contact believes your story. <laughs> I couldn't believe it myself. Anyways, this is the way it's gonna go. She's a trusted friend, and we're hatching a plan. We're gonna get an interview of you first. I, I feel good about this, Davy. I feel so good. Those, those goons are gonna shit their pants. I think it's time for you to come in. Spencer, are you sure? Davy. You're an absolutely solid source. Our careers are on the line here. We're, we're determined to serve the public with honor. That's the way we're going out. Oh, and by the way, just so you know, our number one priority is protecting your identity. It sounds too good. Okay, look, here's the plan. We're gonna get you on camera to set the bait. Then you'll turn the tables, luring the thugs into a trap. <laughs> And we've got the evidence already, all we need. Everybody comes out a winner. The crooks will be caught, the public safe, stories will be told, and the best part, yes, plenty of makeup gigs coming your way. I've always looked up to you. You can't let me down. You just can't let me down. I never crossed our arrangement, Poop there. I'm ruined. You gotta learn how to trust. I'll get you out of this. I'm not sure I know how to care. Where do I have to go? Okay. Tomorrow night, 11 p.m., the Riverfront Park boat launch. My contact and I will be coming alone. Okay. See you there.
will come, I just know it. Davy, Davy, we're here. We're here. Davy, over here. Davy, see, I told you. Oh, this is awesome, Davy. Awesome. We're gonna, we're gonna go someplace safe, and then we'll take care of all this. You'll be in the clear. Oh, this is my friend, Shelly. Wait, Shelly? Yeah, yeah. The truth always comes out. Karma always catches up, and that's the... Oh. 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 Shot! to be done. With my family. Friends. Everyone knows the world revolves around them. It's a selfless, selfish act. A matter of survival. We have two choices. They or them. And since we consider ourselves to be infinite, it had to be us. Best criminals never get caught. We have two choices. Two choices. Two choices. Two choices. I never. 
May I? She's got cash. We already have investors. The poor are fighting for the rich. Sometimes we even pay them. I hear guaranteed income is hot. Something to look forward to. But in the end, it's just business. Resources, David. Adolescent insecurity. Oh, God. God, I... Drugs, sex, and then it's on to anarchy. Obedient, obedient, patriot, patriot, soldier, soldier, soldier. Please, please. I, I, I never hurt anybody. Oh, that's not what you said. Oh, it's hard to breathe. Adverse reactions to social engineering. Central needs to work out a few kinks. Sorry for the discomfort, David. We all tend to rush our projects. You know, I admire the way you skillfully avoided us for so long. It's quite impressive. And your talent for shaping reality, it's gonna come in handy. <laughs> But then again, we designed you that way. We realize how wealthy, united, and important you are. Remember, if you see anything suspicious, even a gesture, contact local authorities. Our programmers will work in unison with local police to protect the industry that keeps this economy strong.
it's done. He's been neutralized. We have good news. The killer has been apprehended. The streets will be safe. Listen, brother, I assure you, there'll be no problems here. 